This is Matt, and this update's going to be covering the wiring for our circuit breakers and the command station. I refer to them as nodes because I have basically two locations where I have circuit breakers located. This one here, which is going to be co-located with the command station, and there's another breaker node on the other side of the wall. Uh, this one currently has two breakers, and one is a PSX AR auto reverser and from BCC Specialties, and the other one, the smaller one, is the NCE. EB1. The other side of the wall has three EB1s, and this side eventually have a third. I don't know what that's what the open space is for. Uh, so the wire I'm working on now is the main bus from this terminal barrier strip to the one on the other side of the wall. I'm using ring connectors because I don't foresee having to remove this for troubleshooting. Now the other end of this same wire has spade connectors so they can easily slid off their terminal strip. So I get this attached and then we'll have a quick shot of what the a node on the other side of the wall looks like. Now if you look carefully at the left side of the picture you'll see a red and black wire coming through the wall. That's coming from the first node into the second node and all the wires leading into the inputs of the circuit breakers are red and black. So that's that is the coloring of my main bus. And you'll see a similar thing going on here. There's a uh, red and black wire that goes off through the wall and eventually there'll be a red and black wire coming to the command station from this particular uh, barrier strip. All right, so now I'm creating some feeders for the uh, circuit breakers themselves. The wire conveniently comes off the spool in a loop, and since I like to have some slack, I took advantage of that. On the terminal strip or barrier strip side, I'll be using a spade connector, so that way if I do want to disconnect an entire circuit, it's just a matter of loosening one screw and sliding it out rather than taking it all the way out in case of a ring, ring connector. Um, so I'll get a couple of these things wired up and then start working on getting the other breaker wired in as well. All right, so the wires are done. I have two of each, two red, two black, to lead to my two circuit breakers on this side. Now I'm working on the wire that will go to the command station. Uh, similar thing, these will have to be straightened out because I don't want a curve in this case. Uh, but I think this section gives a good idea of how this goes together. So my two spade connectors, which will go on to the terminal strip side, they get a crimp and some uh, liquid solder, uh, sorry, liquid flux. And then I'm using a variable heat uh, soldering iron. This one is set to 690 degrees. I have a 3.2 millimeter uh, chisel tip on it, which seems to work pretty well for these heavier connections. So again, that slides in there. That way, if I want to connect the disconnect the entire command station from the entire layout, I just need to unscrew two screws and, and slide the wire out. All right, so next is to do the similar wiring for the EB1 circuit breaker. Uh, this one's got a little more distance to span, so I'll fiddle with the exact layout for here in a second. And once I'm happy with that loop, I'll do the second one and be done with that one. So again, a spade on the terminal strip side and have just a bare wire that goes into the input side of the circuit breaker. Okay, next is the command station. Um, so just want to fiddle around with things until I have the wiring set up how I like it. Um, and I'll measure the length and get it cut. So left side of the connector for this power pro is the power input. Um, and the transfer of the power supply itself is in, in the back of the bench work. Uh, once I get that length measured out, cut those, strip those, and this is just a physical connection into the existing uh, terminal here. So I'll get this screwed in and fastened in, and then the whole setup is ready to test. Thanks for watching.